Hello, it's Hi Jewel. I watched some videos of a woman, J Teen, talk on the fan bus. Watch out for women like her. I'm going to tell you why. I don't care if she's watching this video. I'm going to be honest. In her full interview that got uploaded some days ago on the fan bus, she said that she would rather be with a broke man than a rich man because she would be able to control him. She has more money than him, and maybe has a lot of money, so she would be able to control him. She would also rather be with a broke man than a rich man because the rich man wouldn't be loyal to her. He would cheat on her because he has a lot of options. He doesn't have to just have sex with her. He can have sex with other women. She thinks that a broke man will stay loyal to her because he doesn't have a lot of money. And he doesn't have a lot of options like the rich man would have. I understood why she said it. But by her saying this, it sounds like she's controlling in her interview, she said that she would do this because men, or at least a lot of men, she said, are controlling. She's right that there are a lot of men who are controlling. She's right. A lot of men are controlling. Does that mean all men are? No. Not all men are controlling. Just because a lot of men are controlling doesn't mean that you should be controlling. That doesn't make it right. That doesn't mean that you should control somebody who's not controlling. I can understand her trying to control a man who's trying to control her, but why control a man who's not trying to control you? That doesn't make sense to me. Basically, it was sounding like she was saying that she looks down on a man. Maybe she wasn't trying to say that, but that's how it sounded. She said in the interview that she has more money. She would have more money than the man who's broke. And she would be a sugar baby to the man. She would give the man money, maybe even give him gifts. So since he's doing this, she thinks that she has the right to tell him what to do. Which is baffling to me. Oh yeah, I have more money than you. I can tell you what to do. You need to listen to me because I have more money. So, if you're dating a rich man, that would be like the rich man telling you, yeah, I have more money than you. You do what I say. Now I don't have to be in a relationship with you. I can break this off anytime I want to. Sure, you can break it with you anytime. And now all rich men are controlling. But there are a lot of rich men who are controlling. She's right about that. It's not just about this situation where I said, this situation is the only reason why I said watch out for women like her. It's not just about this situation. It's not. Because I didn't just watch this video. I watched some other videos of her talk. I did. Because I'm like, you know what? I don't want to misjudge somebody. I don't want to misjudge her. I think she's a porn star for what I remember. She may, she's either a model or a porn star. I think she's a porn star. But God, the reason why I said this, because when I went on her Instagram page, she was with some other porn stars. So it's like, oh yeah, she's probably a porn star. And then the woman behind the camera is consuming who's a porn star. So you won't be surprised if she is. But yeah, that situation was crazy. Also, another reason why I say watch out for women like her, she says she likes to date older men. Okay, you know, people have their preference, right? But she says she likes to date older men because she wants to have a man who's more mature than her. I'm 21. I think she's 20 or 21. I forgot how old she is. But I think she's in her 20s. Yeah, I think she's in her 20s. She said that she would date a man who's older. I think she said maybe, if I remember, maybe 40 or more, or maybe it was 35 or more. I forgot what age she said, but basically what she did say was that she would rather date an older man than a younger man because he would be more mature than the, yo the younger man. Now, you could say that this is true because the man is older than the younger man, but you could also say that this is not true 
because there are older men who are less mature than younger men. There are men who are older than me, who are less more mature than me, who know, I said less more mature than me, I mean less mature than me, and there are older men than me who know less information than me, who don't have as much wisdom as I do, who don't know as much as I do. And that's not me trying to be condescending, it's just me telling the truth. There are men like that who really don't know as much as I do. Not trying to be a know-all, I'm just being honest. I don't know everything. I know a lot of stuff, but I don't know everything. I'm not always right about situations. But I'm 21. There are men older than me who do a lot of bad stuff. And who are less more and who are less mature than me. With her saying that. She's implying that older men are more mature than younger men. And I don't agree with that. That's not always the case. It depends on how old you're talking about the guys. Um, Obviously, she's talking about guys who are 18 or older. So, I honestly don't think there would be anything wrong with her dating a younger man. I mean, not a younger man, a young man. I don't think there would be anything with her dating a young man. You just have to find the right one. Not all guys are bad guys. You just have to find the right one for you. You have to find the right young man who has a good mindset, who knows a lot of stuff. But some women, let's be honest now, they could have found the right guy, but they chose to date the wrong guy. They wanted to date a bad guy instead of a good guy. Then they get surprised when they get treated wrong by the bad guy. Oh, it's okay for the man to treat other people badly, but they don't want to get treated badly. With that being the case, you could say that they're a bad person. I don't feel bad for the woman because she wanted a bad man. She just don't like how the bad man treated her, but she was fine with the way he treated other people. Let that sink in, j Teen, if you're watching this. So, I wanted to get my thoughts about that, and I was like, yeah, that, because I just know how it is, you know, there is a lot of young women who get groomed by older men, and when they were kids, they were groomed by these older men. I just know. It's okay for a young woman to have sex with a older man if she wants to, or maybe even an old man. No, that sounds disgusting, but you know, it is what it is. I understand, but yeah, I understand. You know, as long as you guys are both the dogs and it's consensual, okay, that's fine. Do what you want. You both the dogs. That's not my business. It's not. But I wanted to talk about that. Because I thought, hmm, interesting that she said that. But the really part that just stuck out to me that made me really think, oh yeah, I need to watch out for her, is when the part where she was being controlling. I was just like, yeah, that's not a good idea for you to do that. I understand. And she said, I think she also said that the reason why she did a broke guy over a rich guy because broke guys are better at having sex than rich guys. Correct me if I correct me if I'm wrong. But I think that's what I remember her saying. And that's not always the case. It doesn't have to do with if you're broke or rich. You could have a guy who's not broke nor rich. But I guess he has enough money to be middle class, right? So he's not broke, but I guess you could say he's middle class. So... <clears throat> Maybe instead of just, but you know what I will say? It's good that she would give a pro man an opportunity. She said before that, if I remember, she said that she don't just have, she don't have sex with men for money. I remember her saying this. She said that she don't have sex with men for money. She has sex with them to find love. She's an attractive woman. I'll be honest. She's an attractive woman, but her personality, I don't know about it. 
If I be honest, she probably has a bad personality, and that's why I say watch out for women like her. And you know what? Maybe she is a bad person. I don't know. I'm not going to say it yet. But I will say watch out for women like her who are controlling. And maybe she'll, you know, people can change. Maybe she'll, maybe she will change. I don't know. Maybe she'll be like, you know what? I was wrong. I'm going to change. I don't know. If she wants to, she can. If she don't want to, it is what it is. But it's good that she's giving broke men opportunities to date her. But she did say she'd rather they are broke men than uh, rich men. But when she said, now that I think about it, she says she'd rather do it. But does that mean, but does that mean that she dates broke guys? Or that she wants to date broke guys? Think about it, because she said she'd rather do it. But does he date broke guys? Just think about it. Does she want to date broke guys? Does she date broke guys? Just saying. She probably date guys who aren't broke. But have money and it's enriched. That could be a case. I'm not going to automatically say just because he say she'd rather date older men than younger men, that means that she dates older men all the time and don't date young guys. I don't know, but yeah, that's one point where I would say she's wrong about not. Older men are always smart or wiser than younger men. It's not always the case. It depends on the person's experiences. Some people are older than me and I've been through more stuff than them. They could be in their 40s, 50s, and I still went through more stuff than them, countless more stuff than them. Just be honest. So, there she said that. I watched her full interview because I was like, it was a six minute interview. I was like, you know what, well, let me go and watch it to see what she's like. She's an attractive woman. And I saw this video where she told this guy, baby alien, that she wants to lick his anus. And he said, what? Like, what? I'm not down with that. No, 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 no. You're not going to do that to me. And I understand how you feel. I'm not going to let a woman lick my anus. No, no, no. I'm not going to let a woman lick my anus. And though I'm just going to be honest now when I say this. Not saying all women are like this who do this, but most women who lick guys' anus, I'm just gonna be honest, weird. That's just me. You could say I'm wrong, but I'm I they probably just some some women who do it do it just because they're a porn star and they're just doing their job and they don't do it outside of porn. Okay, I understand that. But I'm saying most women who do stuff like that, I'm just saying they are weird now. Just saying, they're weird. And so she was telling a story where she said that she says she likes to eat guys. Mm. She says she likes to lick men anuses. Yeah, she says she likes to lick men anus. And she told a story where she licked her ex-boyfriend. This is going to be graphic. She said she licked her ex-boyfriend's anus at one time. I guess he wasn't having a good diet, so... Like his butt didn't smell good, so it's just disgusting. But um, the reason why I brought that up because it has to do with what I was talking about. Watch out for women like this. This is what I'm talking about. Watch out for some of these type of women that do all this crazy and weird stuff. It's just gross. It's gross. I'm saying licking guys, but it's gross to me. People have their own thing going on, but to me, that is just strange. Now, yeah, it is strange, but I guess who am I judge, right? People got their own thing going on, but the reason why I brought it up is because I was just saying, watch out for women like her. Another thing with this that I wonder is this. Hopefully, this is not the case. Hopefully, she's not going to be like, oh, if a guy was to have sex with me, he has to let me lick his anus. Hopefully, she's not that type of woman because if that's the mindset she has, I definitely wouldn't want to have sex with her. 
She's an attractive woman, but I definitely would just be like, no, I'm good. Oh man, a lot of guys would probably be like, oh no, I'm good. You're not gonna let, you're not gonna do that to me. Some guys don't care because they're sexual deviants. That's what she is. She is sexual deviant. Yeah, she is sexual deviant. Yeah. And just because a woman is a porn star, that don't automatically mean she's promiscuous. Keep in mind, the porn industry, women don't get to choose who they can have sex with. The porn companies pick it out for them. They could say who they don't want to have sex with. Like if they don't want to have sex with this person on camera, they could say, oh, I don't want to have sex with that person. Put them on the no list. Or they could say things they don't want to do and put them on no list. But they can't pick who they want to have sex with. So yeah, guys, I want to talk about this because I watched some feels of her talking. I was like, man, she's something else. Yeah, she definitely a sexual deviant. She's something else. Um, I think she's promiscuous too. But I'm not judging. You know, if you're promiscuous, hey, do your thing. But yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, I'm trying to think about anything else she said in her interviews. That stuck out to me. It made me think, watch out for this woman. Um, I don't know right now, but I did watch some clips of her and I did watch the six minute interview. I was actually going to watch the full interview for, there was this clip from like some months ago or something or a month ago, I forgot how long ago, maybe even some weeks ago. But she did interview before this one, that was some days ago. She did an interview before that, and I watched some clips of her talking, and I was actually going to try to watch the full interview, but it was on the FanBus channel. They were up on full interviews for other people, but for some reason, they didn't have the full interview for her on the channel, but it is what it is. I was actually going to watch it, because hey, if I would watch it, I probably would have more that I was going to say, but I guess so. The last one, that was some days ago. I think that's probably enough for me, because, yeah. And sure, I, you're probably like, Tyjo, maybe you're misjudging her. I don't think so, because I'm just pointing out the red flags now. Some people may say I'm misjudging her, but I'm just pointing out the red flags. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this, because I was just like, oh, you hear the evidence. But I'm going to keep talking. But... The reason why I say watch out for women like this, they can ruin your life. That's why I made this video. Because women like this, they can ruin your life. They can control you. Women like these. I said women like these. Women like her are toxic. That's why I made this video. Women like her are toxic. Now she may change. She may not. But she don't care about saying it. So since she don't care about saying it, on the fan bus platform, and she don't care about saying it publicly, I'm responding publicly. There's no wrong with me doing it. There's no wrong with me being honest. Now, if I hurt her feelings, I didn't mean to, but I said what I said. I'm not gonna take that what I said. I'm just being honest. So yeah, guys, tell me what you think about her. Cause I be misjudging her. Maybe I need to watch more feels of her, but I don't think I need to. I think I watched enough. And you could know from talking to a person for five minutes or even six minutes, you could already learn enough about them. They don't even, they don't even have to say a lot, right? They don't have to say a lot. But I'm already talking. You don't even have to. You could be like, oh, yep. Spent five or six minutes. I think I learned everything I have learned. I see the red flags. And you know what? I don't want to be around you. Yeah, guys, I just want to get my thoughts about her and her talking. Oh, right, you know what? I did almost forget to touch on something. When she said she has sex with men for love, not money. I'm going to tell you like this. Not all men are like that. A lot of guys, they don't want to have sex with women for love. They want to have sex with you. JT, you're an attractive woman. A lot of guys want to have sex with you because they think you're attractive. They don't want to have sex with you for love. There are some guys out there who are like that, who really love you and who want to have sex with you because they love you. But there are a lot of guys out there who would just want to have sex with you because they're like, oh, she has sex with guys before. Oh, yeah, I want to have sex with her. 
they want to have sex with you because they, they're like, oh, she's attractive. And they may think having sex with you is something to brag about. Yeah, I had sex with this woman named JT. They may think, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, who's that? Oh, she a porn star? She a model? I, I don't know. She Yeah, she may be a porn star because she, I think she was, well, some porn stars in pictures, but um, yeah, so yeah, and I think she does porn. Yeah, I think she is a porn star, so she may just be like a OnlyFans porn star or something like that, you know. She may be one of those type of porn stars who just, you know, do amateur content but don't do professional porn. She may be one of those porn stars. I don't know. I'm not going to say I'm right about that. If I'm wrong, let me know, but yeah, so I also wanted to touch on that. I wanted to talk about that because that's all she talked about in one of her videos. It was like this short video or something like that, or maybe not a short video, but it was just a short clip, maybe two minutes, three minutes, I forgot, but it was a short video. May not be a short video, but it was a may not be a short, but it was a short video. So yeah, I wanted to talk about that too. Not all guys or a lot of guys actually are going to have sex with you for love. Now after they have sex with you, they may end up falling in love with you the more they get to know you. But when they like when a lot of guys have sex with you, they're not thinking about love. They're thinking about how good you are at having sex with them. They're doing it for pleasure. They're not doing it because they love you. They're doing it for pleasure. So as good as it may sound in your head that you have sex with guys for love and not money, and that sounds good. You're not having sex with guys for money. But wait a minute, since you're a porn star and when she be making money from having sex with guys, maybe she's saying she would have sex with guys for free if she's a porn star. She's probably saying she would have sex with guys for free, but she's going to get paid from putting a fee on her OnlyFans or wherever it is. She's going to get paid for it. But she's not going. She's going to have sex with the guy for free. That's probably what it is. But yeah. Oh, but then I don't know. It's just I think her saying that just confused me because I'm like, wait a minute. Didn't she have sex with a lot of guys? Like, didn't she say that in the interview? Like, I thought she did. So then I'm like, wait, did she have sex with all those guys for love, or did she just want to do it for pleasure? Was it really for love, or was it for pleasure? I don't know. Or could it have been both? I don't know. That part, I'm not going to touch further on. I think I talked enough about her. I don't know what else to say. I'm out.